Hey, this is Andreas from Pokerables.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Auto Notification which is a Tasker plugin for Android. Um, so Auto Notification essentially allows you to create notifications using Tasker and uh, those notifications are much more feature rich than the ones you can create using Tasker itself because auto notification actually supports features introduced in Jelly Bean. So um, I'm going to go into my home alert a task which is uh, a task that belongs to my custom uh, to-do list app which I made in Tasker and what this does is whenever I come home it checks for any items in my uh, home to-do list and then if it finds any it displays a notification so I used to use the built-in tasker feature for this but uh, when I upgraded to Jelly Bean, I immediately switched to auto notification because it can allows it to do so much more so I'm going to go into configuration here and just basically quickly tell you uh, what all of these things do. So title of notification and text of not notification, those are fairly self-explanatory. Basically just to put in wherever you want the title and text of notification to say. Uh, these do support task uh, variables like this one, so uh, <coughs> sorry, um, you can put in a variable and have it populate uh, that, uh, populate the notification with um, text that way. So I have to do home which is whatever is in the to-do list. Um, ticker is basically just whatever uh, scrolls across the screen exactly when you get the notification which I don't use uh, in this case. Um, a message is basically the auto notification message that will be run when a notification is received. Uh, auto notification message means uh, if you know how auto remote works it basically uh, allows you to trigger other tasker profiles using uh, commands or messages um, and this will essentially create those messages which you can then react to. Uh, I haven't said anything for this but I have said anything something for something further down which works the same way so I'm going to show you how it works with that one. Uh, so this specific one this is run automatically whenever the notification is received. Uh, you have a similar one let's see action it's similar in that this that's a auto notification message that is executed when you actually touch the notification not when you just receive it uh, and then even further down you have action button one two and three and you can see auto notification message that will be available uh, av available in the form of a button so those five options all uh, are different ways of actually sending a auto notification message and i'm going to show you how that works in a minute uh, URL is a um, actual URL that you can put in to open when you touch the notification and it actually says that action field will override this. So if you use an action you can use an auto notification message instead of a URL. Uh, icon does the main icon for the um, notification. Um, basically uh, similar to the three you can see on screen right now. Um, that's different from status bar icon. Status bar icon is essentially the um, icon you see on top right now. You can see the red dot, the, um, the square that represents my smartwatch and tasker icons. Um, <coughs> so those two icons are different. So if you actually choose this you get the option to choose from built-in Icons. These are just system icons for now that might change in the future but right now these are the ones you can choose from but there's plenty there to choose from so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, and ID essentially allows you to set an ID so that you can easily refer to that specific notification. So I just put in the first number that comes to mind every time which is uh, 1337 or lead. 
Um, and that's also important if you use this next option, which is persistent. Uh, a persistent notification is a notification that you cannot remove uh, without having the app remove it for you. So for instance, um, if I scroll down right now, you can see that there's no option here to remove notifications because all these notifications are persistent, meaning that there are no notifications that I can cancel without doing it through the app. And the reason I have this checked is that so I can um, actually remove all other notifications and still have this remain. I'm going to show you why in a second. Sound, that's the sound you want to have play when um, the notification appears. Uh, LED is for phones with a uh, notification LED. Vibration pattern works similar to uh, notify vibrate in Tasker. You can set specific vibration patterns essentially. Um, and picture is if you use the big picture notifications. Um, the big picture notifications are like if I take a screenshot right now. This is a big picture notification. So if you want to create notifications like that, uh, you can do it by specifying a picture with this option right here. Um, share button basically allows you to pop up a share button like you saw in that picture, uh, the screenshot I just took. Uh, and then the final options all have to do with action buttons. You can specify three of those and action buttons are buttons that appear when you, um, in your notification. So for instance, for, that's not what I wanted. Uh, Okay, I guess that one doesn't have buttons, but some um, some notifications do have buttons that you can press. Um, so we can specify those. And I have actually specified um, some buttons here. And the way that works is that you can choose an icon, which again uses the built-in icons for the system. Um, you have a label, which is basically just the text. Uh, and then you have the message that you can specify. So for action button one I have specified clear home and for action button two I have specified clear age not which clear home notification. That's just my logic. So these are basically code words that works the same way that auto remote commands work. So just remember that I specified clear and uh, clear H not. So I'm going to go out of this and I'm going to show you my profiles. Because here you can actually create profiles that react to those messages. So in this case I have auto notification clear home. The way it works is that whenever uh, there is an auto notification message with the word clear home, it triggers that profile. Um, and I have actually set that to uh, write file and basically what this first one does is just clear the list so it deletes everything on my to-do list uh, and then it uses auto notification cancel which is the way that you actually remove persistent notifications so instead of having a notification that I can just swipe away or uh, remove accidentally when I'm removing everything else uh, I've set it to be a persistent notification and then I'm actually using the buttons in Jelly Bean notifications to give me a button to cancel the notifications. So that's a safer way for a notification that you want full control over when it goes away instead of making it part of the normal method for getting rid of notifications. Uh, the second one I have is for Claire H. Not, uh, Claire Home Notification, uh, and that one just uh, omits the uh, clearing of the file and just cancels the notifications. So basically those two profiles uh, react to the auto notification messages you can specify in the five options I showed you. So you basically just add a new profile, choose auto uh, in the plugin section you choose auto notification as your context. Um, I'm going to show you how that works. It's in state and um, plugin then you'll find auto notification and in configuration you essentially just 
uh, specify message filter um, and then you get some other options um, so this has to do with commands and it, it works the same way as auto remote if you're really interested in learning exactly how it works uh, but uh, just for um, simple use it's you can just use like I have clear home like that so if I actually go back into my home alert and trigger um, this notification you can see that this is the notification I got so this icon is one I specified uh, to do that's the title this is a test of auto notification that's the contents of the variable I specified as the um, as the text for the notification I actually got that from my um, to-do list app so whenever I add something there it adds it to a file and then it reads that file into a variable which it uses in here uh, and these are the two buttons you see uh, they saw that I added clear list and postpone uh, and the difference is that if I click postpone it simply removes the notification but it doesn't actually remove it from my to-do list so if I trigger this again um, the notification pops back up so that's useful if I don't want to do something right away and then it will trigger again next time uh, if I do hit clear list instead it removes the notification also clears the list so next time I hit it nothing happens because uh, this part of my uh, to-do list thing is actually dependent on whether or not there's anything in the list so obviously you don't need to have your own to-do list uh, app in order to get a use from this but that's just uh, the first thing I actually started doing with it so I can show you the interface for the to-do list as well so that's my home list so I can just add something here Yeah, that's not right. Like so. Save it. And then that will pop up when I trigger home alert. Like so. So basically this is a very powerful feature because just being able to add buttons to your notification you can basically do anything if you wanted to you could make your own music controls all you would have to do is type those buttons to messages which, which would in turn uh, emulate media controls um, and then make that as a persistent notification or something like that so uh, this is a very po powerful feature and there's a ton you can do with it, so hopefully this video and the article that goes with it has been useful to teach you how it works. Thank you for watching.